Hey Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, it's me, Tina, with 85th House Vibrations, and this is your general monthly reading for May 2019. The moon is in Gemini. Uh, I've been gone for a little bit, but I'm back. Late to the party, as usual. Yeah, I gotta make a fashionable entrance. <laughs> no, I'm sorry for any, for any of those, for those of you who actually cared to hear what I had to say, I'm sorry, but I was just telling Libra, you know, I had surgery earlier in the month and, you know, part of my thing is supposed to be recovery, but it would be a bold faced lie if I told you guys that I was not around because I was somewhere following the rules and trying to recover. Nope, nope, nope. Been out here doing my thing and hope that I don't get into trouble when I go to the doctor Wednesday. Uh, and they find out that I have not been being a good patient. This just flipped over, so we're going to use this. And it's the Knight of Cups reversed. We're pulling three cards. Keeping it simple. I'm late anyway, so. Uh, and while I'm doing this, we're having a, the aspects will be listed in the, I'm sorry, the uh, transits for May. The major transits will be listed in the description box. But I will tell you, Virgo, that we already had a new moon on the 4th in Taurus. We're having a full moon in Scorpio uh, happening on the 18th. Your ruling planet, uh, which is Mercury, Virgo, is finally at peace. Mercury's been struggling for a man a long time now but mercury is finally at a point where you know i can't say he or she because mercury is androgynous but um mercury is finally at a point where it, it feels good it feels like uh it, it just mercury doesn't feel the pressure right now i'm not going to go into all the reasons why and those of you who are not, or who are very new to this anyway, probably wouldn't get it and wouldn't care. So let's just go ahead and talk about this. We got the Knight of Cups reversed. The next card is the Six of Pentacles. And the last card, Virgo, is Page of Pentacles. Okay. All right. So with the Knight of Cups reversed, the Knight of Cups upright is generally, you know, it's like your knight in shining armor. He's coming to sweep you off your feet, right? But he's also extremely temperamental because the knights are extreme. With the Knight of Cups reversed, it's like he's he's um, not doing too much emotionally, which is... It could be good, it could be bad, because with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, you might be expecting a little more of a connection, a little more love, you know, maybe a little bit more um, understanding maybe from a person if this is not you, or this could be energy that you're projecting. But the Knight of Cups reversed is like, no, I'm kind of just going to not feel it. And if I do feel it, I'm not going to tell anybody. The Knight of Cups in this case. Um, doesn't allow himself to let his cup runneth over. With whatever emotion that is. Whether it's love or jealousy or hate. Whatever it is. The cup's upside down. So it never gets full. He never gets um, overwhelmed with whatever's going in that cup. In a sense, it's like he's always pouring out. And you think, well, if he's pouring out, then, you know, maybe he's pouring out love. And no, not really. It's just a matter of, you know, there's just not enough of whatever this cup holds for me to react strongly. And then uh, the cups can be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And while it doesn't have to be 
those sun signs, those signs could be on the moon, or it could just be somebody who's, you know, pretty watery. They, they're, uh, they rely heavily on their intuition and their feelings. Uh, but in this case, that's, that's not what's happening. The next card is the Six of Pentacles, which is, uh, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. This is helping somebody else when they're down. It's a paying it forward card. So when somebody needs your help, you help. Now in this card, the scales are actually balanced, which in a lot of other decks, the scales are slightly off. So with the scales slightly off in other decks, it could mean that you are doing just a little too much, like you're giving so much that you actually cripple a person. And when you need that help in return, they can't help you. You know, you just put out everything and, and they can't, which, is, which might be why, if this is you, this is why you're here, because maybe you've been through that before and you, you, you're just not feeling it. You're not going to allow yourself to be disappointed by not getting what you need from another person. However, with this card, that doesn't appear to be the case. The scales are balanced. You're given just enough without uh, overdoing stuff. Because you know that in return, you may not get very much. Now, under the, under the circumstances, though. Scales are balanced, so what that says to me is that if you should eventually need some assistance, and this is tangible assistance, this is the things in 3D, uh, it doesn't have anything to necessarily do with spirituality or intellect or uh, passion, you know, this is about money and resources and physical health. So, you know, should you be down and those matters, should you ever need them back? Whoever it is that you pour or that you give something to this month, they will eventually return the favor when you need that back. And what it looks like to me is that you could be helping somebody who is currently not able to help themselves just like this because you, you see the hands that are, are held out here and they need your assistance, they need your help. The Page of Pentacles is somebody who is probably looking at your money and they, they do need it. They want it and they know that you have it. So, you know, they, they might have an expectation of you giving them something and that's fine. That's fine, you're willing to help you're just not willing to go too far. And that's okay because the Page of Pentacles understands that. May not necessarily like it because it's like, I know you got it. Help a brother out. And you're like, fine, yeah, sure, I'll help you out. But I'm not about to go overboard with it. And I'm not about to stress myself out or um, um, not be able to show the love for myself because I give you everything that I have. The Page of Pentacles will eventually come to the understanding and say, okay, I got it. I need your help right now, though. I'm just getting started. I actually need some more training. I need some more knowledge. Uh, I need some more support in order to build what I'm trying to build. I'm very, very new to this. And Virgo, you're like, cool, I, I got you. Just don't expect too much. So, you know, it's really pretty cut and dry here. There's not a lot to say about this. The court cards do represent people. So, like I said, if, if um, I may have not have said this, but if these aren't energies that you project, then you've, you've got a couple of people in your life who uh, are actually younger people. Not necessarily chronologically, they just may not be very experienced or very mature. These could be your kids, younger siblings. Uh, you might be mentoring somebody. 
however I feel like you are the caregiver when it comes to these things that we just discussed and you're dealing with people right now who uh, if these are the people in your life who are not quite at your level now the one thing I do want you to understand Virgo is while you are at a, a balanced place about what you're doing and what you're giving this is not something that you should hold over their heads because trust me this is a card of give and take so eventually you will need if not these two people in particular you will need somebody and if you handle this situation wrong then guess what when it's your time of need things won't go the way that you feel like they should okay so that's it that's the way i see it virgo if you would like to get a personal reading with me my information is in the description box below love y'all hope to talk to you again next month